Hey, everybody. I'm at Day of Days 2022 with Remington Hoffman and Victoria Grace. So let's just start. What has it been like, Victoria? Now you're on the mothership. You were on Beyond Sailing. Yes. yes. It has been so exciting. First of all, well, I kind of knew right off the bat when I was cast that I would be on the mother show. So, um, yeah, I'm just extremely grateful. <laughs> and when you were going to play Remington's sister, were you like, oh, do I have to work with him? Or? No. First of all, <laughs> first of all, the funny thing is, the a very accomplished actor. No, the funny thing is, is that my older sister is his voiceover agent. Yeah. So when so there's nepotism in this. <laughs> <laughs> so when um, Marnie Saida, the casting director, called me to let me know that I'd booked it, she was like, oh, yeah, you're going to play Remington Hoffman's little sister. Um, and my my sister was in the background. She was like, he's my client. <laughs> yeah, she screamed it from across the room. So, no, I was looking forward to it right off the bat. And, you know, being an Asian actress in Hollywood, it's kind of hard to be cast in a family. Um it, it's it's hard. Like they don't want to cast Asian families unless, of course, it's like Crazy Rich Asians or Fresh Off the Boat, where the whole franchise is around an Asian family. And so, I was personally thrilled to hear that I was a part of an of of, an, of a family. <laughs> and Remington Lee is not a good guy. Is he? I'm having problems. He's kind of. I was. He's not. He's very manipulative. He's very, he's very Shady McShay. He's Shady McShay. He's Shady McShay. That's exactly Shady McShay. I'm that, you know, I'm glad that that's coming through because that's what I was, that's what I was hoping would be happening with his character. Um, but I do think that as, uh, as he grows and with everything that we, you know, because we're six months ahead, so with everything that's coming up, I think that there's going to be uh, some more moments of vulnerability, which is pretty exciting. Okay, so yeah. this whole thing with Dr. Rolf. So is he just did was he includes from 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 the whole beginning with the Stefan? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. just wanted Gabby and didn't. Yeah, well it's it's about it's about Gabby and it's about power. And it's always like what's the the question really is, like, is it really about Gabby or is it really about power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's something that like I don't think that even I know sometimes. So so yeah. Do you like playing this kind of character as opposed to like a romantic leading man on a Oh, you enjoy because I know you. I like, I like, I like both. You do. I like both. Yeah, because um, well, anytime there's intimate scenes or intimacy and vulnerability, that brings out a certain side of the human experience. And then also, like to be more calculating and manipulative, it's a totally different side of of the way we act. And so that's it's exciting. It's fun. Yeah. So what did you think of Victoria when she was cast as your sister? I got, I, yeah. We could not stand each other. Every time I looked at him, I just I wanted to vomit in my mouth. No. <laughs> no, she wouldn't let me uh, rehearse with her actually when we first met. What? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, um, no. We hit it, we really hit it off. You know, my question was if I asked her, I was like, "Do you speak Mandarin?" You know, and um, she actually did take it in school, and I was really really impressed. And. Um, I was really happy to find out that I was getting a sister character, you know, because it's like, oh, the Gabby stuff starts happening. The sister character comes in, you know, it's like we have this father that I'm always talking about, you know, more solidity. And I, and mm -hmm. I think they do that when they see in an actor like yourself, when they see there's such potential there and we can build a family and build people around them. And I always think that's show in soap operas. That means that they see something that they can build, which I which is kudos to you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. As far as the Asian family on the show, you know, this is the issue with daytime has been there's never enough diversity. And then there's always, you know, how do they do that with if it's an African-American family, if it's an Asian family, if it's a whatever it is, how do they put it, make it, you know, so it's part of the whole canvas and not like an isolated experience. Situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I think having like romantic interests is important, you know, that my character is romantically involved with the beautiful Camila, you know, it's, that's, that's a really big step, I think. And like you were saying about crazy rich Asians, Henry Golding, you know, he was the first, uh, you know, Asian male sex symbol in a long time, at least, um, besides maybe Bruce Lee, but Bruce Lee was more known for martial arts. And so it's cool to play this more leading character that's in a, a relationship that's scandalous and exciting, you know, and, and to be represented feels really good. It's, it's, remarkable to me is well the the UCLA Hollywood diversity report came out for this year 
And I was taking a look at it, and out of all of the leads on television, all of the series regulars on television, less than 4% are Asian. And so I'm very grateful to be able to say that I am part of that 4%, you know, but when it comes to Wendy and when it comes to Lee, what's amazing to me is that they are not stereotypical Asian characters. Days has done such a great job fleshing them out to be 3D human beings. Um, Wendy, she is feisty, she is tough, she is tech savvy. But she also, you know, when romance ensues, maybe she, oh, she has a little bit of a vulnerable side as to her as well. And so, you know, I, not, that doesn't come naturally for a lot of writers and for, for a lot of producers and showrunners. Um, and yeah, that's amazing to me. I, I definitely want to give props to Days for that. Who is the man for her? She wants Johnny? Or she wants Trip? Or she wants the other guy? Or she want like, there's like, there's like, what is going on? <laughs> She's got three guys. That have, I know. There was Trip and guys. Joey and now uh, uh, Johnny. No, you know what the funny thing is? Soap Opera Digest interviewed yeah. me the other day, and they were like, no, they literally asked me, so you have three guys going after you. Uh, can you relate to that in real life? And I was like, no, <laughs> not at all. So wh what does she feel about Johnny? What's Wendy think about so far in the show, um, in the episodes that have aired, um, she thinks Johnny's really interesting, and she feels she she feels excited by him, and and she can take he can take her to new places and see new things, and um, and also there's this mystery going on, and she's you know she's a very driven amb ambitious person. She came there for work, so Johnny kind of sidetracked her completely, um, and and that's cool to her. Yeah, there, there, there aren't many people that can do that to her. She, ha she has, she has a one-track mind on work, getting that promotion. You know. You think he's gonna be able to hold on to Gabby? I don't think so. I oh, think it's kind of gone. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. He, I, I, lo I love her. Or Lee loves her. Lee, Lee, yeah. Lee loves uh, Gabby. Lee loves Gab. Lee loves Gabby, and um, in his own way. Right, like you were saying, you know, he's he's a very manipulative person. Comes from a rough background with his dad and everything too. Um, Do you think he'll delve more into that, or not? The manipulation of the, with his dad and what he went through. Are they already kind yeah. of yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Because that's a big reason why he acts the way he acts. Right. Yeah, and maybe, maybe he doesn't really want to be that person deeper down, like a lot of us are imprinting from our parents, right? right? right. You know, yeah, right. yeah. So, um, so that's that's exciting. Right. So Camille is a spitfire. Yeah, Camille is so fun to work with. I was we were talking about it. Um, Camila never does lines the same way twice. I don't know if anyone's ever if no, people know that, but she's like she'll just be saying lines really you know fast or slow or with strange beats. And I was like I was like hey Camila, what are you what are you doing like when we're rehearsing you know? And she's like she's like oh, I don't ever want to say it twice the same way. So I just I'm just gonna keep going a different way. But yeah, Camila's Camila's super professional. I, I I love working with her. Yeah. Yeah, for real. What would you say to the audience to look forward to, like, in the next few weeks? I know you tape six months ahead, and it's hard to track, but what do you think we can look forward to? Yeah, well, um, is, where, are we? Where, are where are we right now? <laughs> so hard. I remember we would film it, and we're like, did that happen? Yeah. Or when did that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did that three months ago. Is it, what? Nobody remembers. Okay, I think... Um, um, Remington told me that right now, uh, my character has come back <laughs> from Jakarta. She's coming back from Jakarta. Okay. So she has this, uh, she has this major lead. She's, she doesn't believe that her brother is capable of doing such awful things. And at the root of it, you know, she really loves her brother. And so as much as she feels like she, she's doing this for herself to bust him in, in order to get a leg up. Um, and actually see that she's actually she's far more capable than anyone else could be. Um, she loves him. She wants to save him, too. She wants him to open his eyes and, and realize that what he's doing is wrong. And for Lee? Well, he's really just making sure Rolf does whatever the hell he wants, right? He's blackmailing Rolf. Oh, yeah, man. He needs Rolf just on he's just, just Stefan, you know, forever. Forever, because then it's, he gets everything, all of his dreams come true. All of his dreams come true, all of his dreams come true, yeah. And so it really is just about controlling Rolf and getting Wendy and Johnny to stop flying off on romantic getaways to Jakarta. And, well, he doesn't want 
no, of right. course not. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. And so, um, yeah, so that's what it's really all about. It's just keeping everyone in check so then he can keep Gabby and keep what he wants. All right. So everybody watch Remington Hoffman, Victoria Grace, on Days of Our Lives, streaming on Peacock weekdays. Thank you both so much.